And a local college student got the scare of her life while moving into her dorm. She thought it was an asthma attack, but it turned out to be something much more serious. KNBC Night's Kelly Eckerman has her story and the new procedure that Kelly may have saved her life. Right. Gina Cusimano is 19 years old, just starting her sophomore year at University of Central Missouri in Warrensburg. But something wasn't right. She was having pain she'd never experienced before, and the diagnosis was something no one expected. Last month, Gina was anxious to get back on campus, settling into her dorm and classes, but something was wrong. When I picked up some of my items, I had this sharp chest pain, so I was thinking it was just my asthma. The pain continued, so she Googled her symptoms. It was saying that you might have a heart attack, and I didn't like, uh, you don't have a heart attack in 19, I don't think. She got to the emergency room at St. Luke's East, where she got some shocking news, a large blood clot in her lung. You can see there's good blood flow to the right upper lung, but almost no blood flow to the right lower lung. Gina had a choice, blood thinners that can have long-term side effects, or a newer procedure using a device called a flow retriever catheter to suck out the clot. It goes through a small incision in the leg to the heart and then the lung. And we attach this syringe here and we use this syringe to apply suction. We pull back on this and we're able to pull the clots uh, into the catheter. St. Luke's East has been offering the flow retriever for a year and a half. Dr. Cho says it's cutting edge technology that's working. Pulmonary embolism is the third leading uh, cause of cardiovascular death in America, and it is uh, far too often ignored and uh, undertreated. I was like, I can breathe. Gina feels lucky it was there for her. Now, it is unusual for someone so young to have a pulmonary embolism. She didn't have any known risk factors, just those symptoms, shortness of breath and chest pain. She is the youngest patient to get this new procedure at St. Luke's. And because it is so new, doctors will be following Gina's progress for the next year and sharing that data for medical journals as they evaluate its effectiveness. They're also doing that for the other patients that they have treated in this last year and a half. Unbelievable story. Yeah. Wow. And, Again, the lesson, don't ignore your symptoms. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, Absolutely. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Thank Kelly, you, thanks. Kelly.